Lifting family, welcome back. So it looks like the Big Ten has decided to cancel all of football for the season. As far as reports go, it looks like that actually came in. So there was a 12-2 to 2 vote, and 12 were in favor of canceling the season. And honestly, it would have made for an interesting season, especially with, with an interesting situation like with, with Matt Stafford recently, where let's say he even had a positive test. I mean, there was the back and forth of him having a false positive and then there were there were issues where actually his wife was out in public and she had received some flack in, in public and so with that though had he had a positive test I mean then your starting quarterback is out for a period of time so you're having to use your backup and a lot of teams end up going to use their backup but if this is the the consistently revolving piece as far as playing a season yes it's football but what does that really look like I mean what were your thoughts as far as if football were to be played, how would this exactly play out? I mean, yes, it, it stinks to have football starting to, to fade away for the season and <clears throat> other conferences are, are, are joining in. But with that, because I, I had actually also seen that um, CMU and Western and Eastern were also canceling football as well. So with that, you know, what would football essentially look like? I mean, and there's other teams that could play. I mean, there's other teams that could still put together a season. I'm not really sure. This is still kind of one of those developing things. But, but what were your thoughts as far as if, if football were to be played, I mean, with the starting quarterback being out, maybe a starting running back being out, or maybe with, with a series of players being out to where they couldn't even field a team, how does that look? And then what is the makeup for that? I mean, there's so many... So many factors where if you start it, then you kind of have to go through with it. And even with even in looking at baseball, where they had 60 games, now looking at that, that schedule is just really, really interesting to look at. Because again, the Tigers had a recent series that that they ended up having to cancel because of of similar issues where players are tested positive. So it's definitely interesting. It's it's definitely one of those things where just just seeing that kind of hit it was another blow for for 2020 altogether and not super not not super happy about it but at the same time it's one of those things where it's just it would really be difficult to see what a season would look like and then to play that and then where do you place value on that i mean players being out you're not really playing at your best and that's that's a struggle already for teams just injuries alone and now you're playing with backups who they might get injured and then the issue where players need to be picked up as well. So, I mean, you get a bunch of injuries, then you're having to go to a practice squad, and then you're having to pick up players essentially off the street just to start playing football. And all of that in the name of football is one of those things where is that the best choice? And I would have to say no, but I'm curious what everyone else's opinions were as far as how a season would actually play out. Comment down below. Let me know what you're actually thinking as far as like if a season were to happen what would that season have looked like with some of these factors that we know and that are starting to come into play. Like this video if you like videos like this. I did want to do some type of vlogging type videos like I had mentioned in the past and I'd actually just seen this pop up so this is kind of one of those more current news type pieces so comment down, down below and let me know. Do remember to click that subscribe button down below as well too. That will help you see all these videos in the future by also clicking that bell then you'll get an email notification notifying you when these videos drop. Outside of that, thanks for watching and as always keep pushing.